What's up, gamers? Welcome back to Disney Dream Life Valley. It is Wednesday, which means it is Premium Shop Refresh Day, and we get a new Dream Snaps Challenge for the week, so we are going to go over all of that today. But first, as usual, we're going to head over to Scrooge's shop and see if he's got anything new for us. All right, let's see what Scrooge has for us today. All right, so I don't think I have this lamp. Oh, this is pretty neat. This is a Monster Inc. item, the Industrial Tree Lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Oh, I keep saying that I gotta get on my pumpkin farming. Uh, I definitely need to because this is the first time that I've had less than a million star coins in probably a year. So I'm gonna have to work on my pumpkin farming to get those star coins back up. And it's still my favorite way to make star coins is just to farm pumpkins. Oh, I don't have this, so let's go ahead and grab this blue double door top counter cupboard. Oh, corner cupboard, not counter cupboard. Okay, we'll see. Oh, I don't have this bed. Been really lucky. Oh, you guys, I have something to show you, actually. Hang on. Oh, I already have that, apparently. Oh, I don't have this. But I got two really great items in the shop recently, and I wanted to show them to you guys. So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, I love the black wallpapers. Um, let's go ahead and grab these floors, and then I will show you the new things that I've gotten. Oh, I really like this floor. That's really cool. Alright, let's run outside. Get out of the way, Scrooge. Let's run outside and I'll show you the new things that I've got. Look what I finally got, you guys! I got it! I got the tea set that I have been wanting literally since the game started. Um, this is in, I think it's in, where is it? Remy's uh, restaurant. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh gosh, I want that so bad. And the water fountain uh, that shoots out of the ground. I have been wanting that for so long. Okay, my girl is messing up the illusion here that she's pointing at the item. She's actually pointing at this capybara over here. But that's that's fine. I wanted I wanted it to look like she was pointing at the items. You get it. You get it. All right. Now that we've got my dorkiness out of the way, let's go ahead and look in the premium store and see what's going on in there. And let's not talk about how I have a lot more moonstones this week. Okay? We're not going to talk about how I obtained the moonstones. We just we have them. So let's look at the new stuff. All right, you guys. This week is super exciting. I'm so so, so thrilled to be able to showcase these items for you this week. So we have a house skin, Lady Tremaine's Manor House, which I don't think I saw on any of the, the lists of leaked items uh, before this update. I don't think I saw this. And if I if it is out there already, I'm, I'm surprised that I missed it. But I'm really, really excited about this because you guys know that I love this style of house skin. So Lady Tremaine, if you don't know, is from Cinderella. That's the stepmother. And I'm very, very excited to have this for my valley. It is 3,750 moonstones and it looks gorgeous. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this. I am super excited about it. Woohoo! All right, so this next item set, I'm actually shocked that this is a set. I really thought that this was going to be individual, that these items were each going to be um, individually sold. So I'm shocked by this. But this is the Monsters, Inc. restaurant set. This is the sushi bar that Mike Wazowski goes to on his date in the beginning of the movie. Um, this is the Monstrous Sushi Booth, which is so cute. Um, and then here is the part that I think everyone has been waiting to see. This is the Monstrous Sushi Counter. And it comes with this character that's animated. And he's just chopping up the sushi and serving it. And it just is so cool that they have an extra character like this. that's just kind of hanging out. A lot like the fox in the new backpack. Um, that has its own animation. I just think that this is so cool and such a great bonus character to have in the valley. And then of course it comes with a short side table and a monstrous sushi plate, which, oh my god, the eyeballs. I don't think I really thought that hard about this, but look at how creepy this looks. 
<laughs> oh my god, I love that. The detail in this one is really amazing. Like, look at all of the food on the sushi counter and in the booth. This is going to be really cool, like a really cool addition to the valley. So I can't wait to see how people style this in their valleys. Let's go ahead and get it. It's only 2,000 moonstones, which I feel like is a really good price for this. All right, and then we have this wicker sweetheart basket. This feels more like a Valentine style item and it's only 850 moonstones, but it is just one small item and I don't know if I want to spend the moonstones on it just because I've gotten a little bit ridiculous with buying moonstones lately. Um, it is really actually very cute. And I like it a lot. <laughs> like, I, I definitely would buy this if Moonstones were not um, an object for me. But yeah, I think I am going to pass on it this week, though. And then we have our repeat item of the week. This is, and I wish it would show me the price even though I bought it. Because now I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, but this comes with the white wrap skirt, the frilly white top, the pink shepherdess watch. Uh, this is the Beach Vibes uh, clothing and accessory bundle. I can't remember how many moonstones this was. I'm sure someone will point it out in the comments. But yeah, I did get this. I actually really never use any of these items. Although I do think that this skirt is very beautiful. All right, you guys, let's see if I can... Oh, hi, Belle. She's just hanging out with my new tea set. <laughs> okay. Now... I want to see if I can make up some of these moonstones with my dream snaps rewards. So but first, let me showcase all those new items that I just got. All right. So here we have the sushi bar. And oh my gosh, look at how huge this tray of sushi is. I really thought it was going to be smaller than that. It's actually quite large. And this table is pretty big too. And then here we have <laughs> the sushi counter with our awesome character. Wow, the detail is fantastic. I wish you could kind of sit at the bar. You can't, you can't really interact with this in any way. Wow, you can get really close. You can get almost like behind there with him. That's really awesome. And then we have the um, booth. You can't go inside. You can't sit in there. So that's kind of unfortunate. But it definitely looks awesome. Like, I really like this a lot. I think this is so neat. I love that he's animated and moving around too. It's just so cool. And then over here, I kind of uh, squeezed Lady Tremaine's house over here. Uh, it doesn't have quite as large of a footprint as I thought it was going to. Mike Wazowski, chill out. I think I do like it up here. I just might need to rearrange some stuff. But yeah, it's a really beautiful house. I don't think there's any other doors. Hang on. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't see any other doors to the house, but the detail on this house is beautiful. I really love it so much. I love the vines going up the side of the house, the tower. It's just, it is a really beautiful house. So I think I might keep it up here. I'm not 100% sure though. I might make this my new house, honestly. All right, friends, let's check out Dream Snaps and see if I can make up some of the uh, moonstones that I spent this week. I did not try that hard on this challenge. Okay, so this one was the Fur Feathers and Scales Challenge. I scored a 57.89, ranked 40,264th, and I earned 1,200 moonstones, 158 pixel dust, and the red chest. So yeah, I did not try that hard on this one, you guys. I was kind of going for like a fish kind of vibe, like a beachy fishy with the scales and the pants. Anyway, um, <laughs> I did okay. I'm fine with this amount of moonstones for the level of work that I put in for it. So let's go ahead and claim these rewards and we'll see what's in the red chest. All right, let's hope that I got some uh, furniture items because I always have all of the clothing. Oh, and it's clothing, <laughs> of course. I do already have all of those, so that's fine. Right, so let's, first of all, let's see where I am with Pixel Dust now. Oh my gosh, it's getting so close. Ugh. I don't know, it's it's definitely, well, I mean, it's taking a while, but I really, really want that trophy. So hopefully, hopefully I'll do well 
in the coming weeks and get more pixel dust. Okay, so this week's challenge is going to be a chill summer theme. It's a decor, oh no, it's an outfit challenge. It says escape winter's chill with a cool summery outfit. Combine summer and winter clothes to create your own unique look. This seems dumb. <laughs> gonna lie i don't love this um especially since i think yesterday was the first day of spring officially um it, where i live anyway so i don't really get it i don't know why we're looking at winter and or why we're looking at summer uh but that's that's the theme so we're gonna need four elegant items three wondrous and then uh we're gonna get a bonus for using hats and casual items yeah, I don't love this at all, you guys. I think people are just going to do whatever they want for this. They're either going to do... They're probably just going to do, like, a summery outfit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of silly. It doesn't look good. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is not my favorite challenge, for sure. I'm not thrilled about this. I'm very curious to see what people come up with, though, because... I, I can't think of any good idea for this one. Last week, we had the DIY theme park decor challenge, which is super exciting. I had kind of an issue, though, because in the past, when I've submitted my dream snap for the week, if I didn't like it, I could just, re I could just create something else and then submit a new photo. Um, but this time, when I went to submit a different photo it said that i submitted it correctly but then when i looked at the current challenge and i checked my submission it was showing the old image that i submitted i'm not 100 percent sure which photo i put in for this one um i can pop them on the screen right now and show you the difference um the first one is the one that i submitted first which i think is fine i think it's a fine picture it'll do okay um but then i spent like kind of a long time working on this uh disney world like main street vibe kind of um area in my valley and i was really happy with it and i submitted the photo and i really really like the way this photo came out um but it wasn't showing up in the submitted section of the event tab so i'm not sure which one is going to be actually put out all right editing version of jamie here i'm just now realizing that the reason my second submission did not go through is because i am wearing a touch of magic tool item and i did not read when the little notification came up i thought that i had submitted the photo but apparently i did not um and that is because i am wearing a touch of magic tool mini ears in this picture um so yeah that is a huge bummer because i really really liked the way that the background came out of this one so that's unfortunate i am really excited to see what you guys all came up with so let's go ahead and vote and get 50 moonstones for this week oh, holy holy cow what is this i actually saw a few people do the um Alphaba from Wicked, and, and some of them were really, really spectacular. I, I see a lot of things on Facebook because I'm in some Facebook groups, and I get some ideas from there, too. So if you haven't checked out Facebook groups, if you're not like a Discord person, Facebook groups is where it's at. But yeah, I love that you can see the rides in the background, and they've just pretty much got all of the uh, awesome theme park items in the background here. So this one's really cute. All right, this one's showcasing the Mickey and Walt statues. That's really cute. I like that. And I'm going to try not to linger too long on all of these. This one is definitely simple, but it's more my vibe. It's pretty. It's kind of more like what I, I usually do. This one is zoomed out and really showing like their whole plaza area, which does look really nice. But I think I like this one a lot, so I'm going to go with this one. Oh, this is beautiful. <gasps> Look at that with the sunset and the statue. Oh, man. See, this is really what I... <laughs> this is really what I thought I was going for in my first submission with the uh, with the squirrel picture. Um, or with the squirrel pose. Wow, this is so beautiful. And I love Mickey that he's in his little dream style. You can see the balloons. Ugh. 
This one is perfect. I really, really like this. Oh my gosh, look at Rapunzel in this one. I love this so, so much. I love that they did it at sunset and you've got like this pink and um, like ombre kind of background. I love that so, so much. Ooh, here's a very cute one with Minnie Mouse. I see a lot of people are using this outfit, which I get it. It's very, very cute. Oh, these are really great. So these are really great, like, uh, realistic theme park pictures. This one definitely looks like my meadow, how I had my meadow set up. Oh, and they've got the little swan in the pond. I love that. This one definitely looks more realistic with the asphalt for sure. Um, but I, I really like this a lot. And I love that Goofy's in here too. Oh, what's this little sign? I don't think I recognize this little sign. Is this from one of the, um, it's either a, a new Monsters, Inc. item that I haven't seen yet, or it's from one of the quests that I haven't gotten to yet, because I'm a little bit behind. But yeah, I really like the way this is set up. Oh, these are really cute. This one <laughs> caught Mickey like mid-words. I didn't know that the pictures would pick up the, um, the little like chat bubble. This one's gorgeous though. I love that they used this. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to put down each one of these squares because it's not a path. It's an item. So she had to, or he or she had to buy like all of these and place them down individually. So that is a lot of work to get this like cobblestone kind of look. But I really love this. Oh, I really, you know what? I regretted not using my figment uh, topiary in mine. I kind of wish that I had because it looks so cute. Yeah, I like this a lot. Oh, and I love that they you can see the castle in the background. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, here's another one that is just so cute and perfect. I love the fence around this ride. That's so cool. They've got the figment topiary, they've got the balloons and the castle. And oh my gosh, this is just so cute. I love this so much. I don't know how you guys get these close-up pictures of your character with like a castle or whatever in the background. Oh, and I love that they got the Ferris wheel in there too. I was wondering like, I didn't feel like I could get the, the Ferris wheel and the castle. So I just went with the castle, but it was really hard to get like the whole castle in the picture and have it be close up on my character. I like, I don't know how you guys are working with these camera angles. It's really hard. Ooh, here's another great theme park one. And they've got the blurred background because that's like, that's what the, the, you know, this pose looks like at first. You've got the blurred background. And then if you um, change the camera again, you'll be able to like move freely around and it unblurs everything. But it also changes your ability to like get certain angles. So it's just, it's tough, this whole Dream Snaps thing. But I really like this one. I love how close up the butterflies are. And that's because, um, Mirabelle is right here. I see your arm. <laughs> That's why all these butterflies are right here in your face. But I kind of love that. So I'm going to vote for this one. Oh, wow. Here's another really cute one with Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Oh my gosh, you guys. I found a great one to end it on. We've got a Mr. Walt Disney here. <laughs> a very young, handsome looking Walt Disney. And Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's so cute. There's so much going on in the background. Um, and I kind of wish that these were turned around because I think you can see the flag is on the other side. So I kind of wish those were turned around, but it's way better than anything I could come up with. So I think I'm going to vote for this one and I'm going to end it here. All right, friends, I brought you back up to my little Main Street area here. I think this looks super cute. I mean, I've definitely seen a lot of like nicer looking ones than this but i still think it's very cute i like being in this part of my valley i think it's adorable i'm really happy with the premium shop today and i'm not so happy about the dream snaps challenge for this week but i'm at least happy that i got 1200 moonstones for last week and i'm really curious to see how i do with the theme park challenge we'll have to wait and see on that all right my friends thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video i would love for you to give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more dreamlight valley videos i hope you have a magical day today happy spring and i will see you again very soon bye